Some people say Barbies for babies. Well then, I'm a baby. Goo. Hello, every maker. Justin here from Makey Movies, and welcome to a new series where myself and my makeys, hi, uh, bye, review other toys and things, starting with. The new and diverse Barbie fashionistas. The Barbie to your right is number thirteen in the line, and she is an original Barbie. And inside this box is number twenty-two in the line, and she is one of the new curvy Barbies. The reason I chose to get an original Barbie, number thirteen, over a petite or tall Barbie, is mainly because. I think those clothes would look really good on Frida. Hey, do you think I could borrow those sometime? Sure. I also got number thirteen because she just looks really nice overall. And I got number twenty-two also because she's really pretty, and because Frida could wear her dress. Ooh. But the main reason is because she's one of the new curvy, diverse Barbies, and I really wanted to get one of those. Here are some of the other Barbies you can get in this fashionistas collection. I would really love to get this petite Barbie and this petite Barbie, this tall Barbie, and these two original Barbies. But the one of these I want most of all is this. Curvy Barbie number twenty-seven with the blue hair. Ugh! If only I could find her. Oh well, what can you do? Let's open number twenty-two up. I am very surprised about how easy she was to take out. I literally just ripped off the plastic and pulled her out. It was so easy. Oh my makey, that was the quickest I have. Ever unboxed a doll? It literally took like what, ten to twenty seconds? What? I didn't even have to use any scissors. Out of ten, I give the packaging eleven thumbs up. Now let's check out the doll. Oh, that is the softest doll hair I have ever felt. Frida, what's your hair like? Hmm, it's hard with hairspray. I'm a dancer. I have to hairspray my hair like every day. Considering this doll only cost ten dollars, this is great quality hair for any doll. In fact, I've never had doll hair this soft. Frida, you got great hair too. <laughs> Thanks. Number twenty-two. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna call her Naya, just 'cause it's the first name that popped into my head. Well, Naya has a very beautiful face that is very unique for Barbies, and very very minimal makeup. She has on a dress with printed on denim patterns and a plastic belt that is removable. For footwear, she has on some black flats, which means she can stand alone with plenty of ease, just like Makey's. Now let's check out Barb, who was an original Barbie. Yes, I called her Barb, not Barbie, because I already have a Barbie called Barbie. Number thirteen or Barb is clearly meant to be the actual Barbie of the line, like the original character Barbie. She has practically the same face as the Made to Move Barbie, and almost the same hair color. I'm so jealous of how soft and silky Barb's hair is. It's just like Naya's, except it's wavier and slightly more styled, like Frida's. Just like Naya, she has very minimal makeup, except she's smiling. She has pierced ears with black heart-shaped earrings that are removable, unlike Naya. Barb is wearing this two-piece comic book slash pop art slash polka dot inspired outfit with a pink skirt with lots of polka dots and a crop top. For footwear, she has on these orange super high high heels, which are like Frida's feet when she's on point. It's this reason she appears to be taller than Naya when in reality they are both the same height. 
and also why she has to use a stand that Hacks made to stand upright. Now let's compare the two bodies. The curvy body has a slightly thicker build, which looks really fabulous on these dolls. It doesn't look out of place at all. Barb is slightly more slender since she is an original Barbie. Though I wouldn't call her the average Barbie because I have never ever owned a Barbie whose hip pops out to the side. It's very unique. But her hips do make it a challenge for her to sit down properly. Since Makey's can fit Barbie clothes, let's see how these two's clothes look on Frida. What do you think then? Wow, this dress looks makey amazing on Frida. I didn't even think it would fit her properly. I knew Makey's could fit average Barbie clothes, although they were a bit tight. But I had no idea how well Makey's could fit the curvy Barbie clothes. This is the best outfit I have ever tried on. Hold on, Frida. Wait at least until you try on the other outfit before you decide which of them is your favorite. There you go. Oh my, Makey, this is a perfect fit as well. As I already mentioned, original Barbie outfits usually are slightly tight on Makey's, but not this one. It's a perfect fit, just like the curvy outfit, and it looks great for a night out on the town. Lastly, Barbie fashionistas do not have the best articulation. They can only move at five points, but in my opinion, that's perfectly okay. Because the newly released Made to Move Barbies have super movement and flexibility, and so do Makeys. Plus, the new fashionistas are fairly cheap to buy, yet are super high quality. Thanks for watching the video, and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Barbook Broken Toys. Bye. Ah.